love of self, love of one another, love of our families, love of our communities. After 20 years, our struggle for freedom, justice, and equality continues. On October 10th, people gathered in Washington, D.C. to remember the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. This time, the crowd was younger and filled with more women and families. 1995, it was something that had never been done before. That was historic. There was a lot of controversy surrounding the 95 um, gathering. And um, it's really kind of hard to compare. Uh, the number of people that were here then, we wouldn't even be able to have this interview because we wouldn't have room. Every inch of, of this ground was covered. And every tree that could support a human being, there was a human being in that tree. And every fixed monument, there were several people dangling from that monument. It was incredible, the number of people who were here um, in 95. We, we've had the March on Washington. We've had Million Man March. We've had a monument built to Martin Luther King, but we've not yet had justice. So at this point, it's nothing else to ask for or to demand but justice. So it is justice or else. The main speaker was Minister Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam. What good are we if we don't prepare young people to carry the torch of liberation to the next step? Indigenous people joined the movement in remembering the march in 1995 with performing some rituals. We spoke with the Harmony Keepers about the future of their culture. Well, the Harmony Keepers are based out of LA, but it's all inclusive, so we're everywhere the Indian land is. So we have multiple tribes represented. When we stop fighting each other, there's a common goal, and we can succeed as a people. And the ultimate goal is to protect Mother Earth, and so that our generation after generation after generation will have her. Because at the path that we're going now, corporate America is gonna destroy and we won't have a place. We won't have a place for our children, for our children's children. The 20th anniversary of the Million Man March had little to no media coverage. Farrakhan started promoting this Million Man March back in June, and only C-SPAN covered this historic movement. This movement was a time for our nation to understand the cry and outrage of oppressed people who want answers and justice. Why didn't the media cover this movement like they would cover Donald Trump's outrageous immigration remarks or when an unarmed youth is gunned down by police? As we took our front end, I don't